Hello everyone, another good day in Fiji. So today uh, we are visiting Kula Wild Adventure Park. Uh, this park is located on Queens Highway. Uh, so if you are coming from Sivatoka, uh, it will be towards Suva side, almost 8.5 kilometers. And if you are traveling from Suva, then as soon as you reach Outrigger, uh, it, uh, so Outrigger would fall on the left side, which is a resort. And this uh, park is on the right side. So from the main highway, this is almost a kilometer inside. So to tell you a little bit more about this park, this is uh, Fiji's biggest family fun park and ecological preserve. And um, it was established as a bird park in 1980s, but was taken over by the Kula management in 1997. So this park is actually a 28 uh, acres uh, property. And um, I think uh, 12 acres of this forest is open for public viewing. So we've now entered the park and on the right is the reception where you buy your tickets. So if you're buying a basic ticket, then it's $50 per adult and $25 per child. So as soon as you enter, you will find that uh, you'll come into an interaction area where uh, uh, for touching and taking selfies, you have a Fijian iguana and a boa constrictor. But since uh, it was time for turtle uh, feeding, ocean turtle feeding, which is carried out only three times a day, uh, we decided to first do that and see that activity. Now to do that activity, you need to, you're instructed to wash your hands when in two bowls of water uh, with some solution that is kept there. And you're supposed to feed the turtle, but uh, ensure that your hand is not touching because they might just snap your fingers. So next to this place is the Land and Sea Aquarium, wherein you can see a lot of uh, the ocean life of Fiji. Uh, so uh, fishes, uh, corals and other spectacular marine life that surrounds the islands of Fiji is on display here. So Kula also offers a kilometer of, of wooden uh, walkways and bridges. Uh, on the wooden walkways, uh, you'll always find on either side because it's a tropical forest. So the names of uh, different trees which are present in this park uh, are prominently listed. So the park also has a lot of indigenous uh, birds on display. Uh, some of these are small enclosures, while the others are huge walkthrough enclosures. Now, uh, what you see here is uh, the, the 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 owl, uh, and the next enclosure is that of uh, the Pacific Harrier. Although I'm not a big fan of animals being caged, but we need to understand that these birds have been rescued from different uh, parts. And uh, while they have been rescued, they have been now kept in this uh, place where they are getting food and they are being protected. So followed by these small enclosures is uh, the huge uh, walk-through walk enclosures, uh, wherein another different form, forms of uh, bird life is shown to you. So what you see here is the red-breasted musk parrot. And uh, these enclosures have been put in such a way that there are double doors, right? So when you enter, it's specifically mentioned that you close the first door before you open the second one so that uh, these birds don't fly out. So have a look guys and enjoy yourself. I've tried to cover most of uh, the reptiles and birds that have been there. So after these enclosures, as soon as we get out of them, you've got some tropical plants on display. One which I really liked was the monkey tail, uh, which you can see, you know, the red uh, tails, like uh, pretty much identified with a particular set of monkeys. 
Uh, the second one was a wooden suspension bridge. Now walking on this bridge was uh, a very, I mean, it offered a very good feeling plus a lot of photo opportunities. So from here, uh, there's again a way that goes up to the elevated uh, areas. And uh, while you're walking on these elevated areas, uh, they previously used to run a zipline, which at the moment is uh, at the moment is closed. I'm not too sure when they will open it. But beyond this point, there is a long uh, water slide, which is almost 110 meter splash mountain jungle water slide. That is what they call it. But the walk on this wooden, uh, you know, in the wooden uh, areas uh, was again, uh, and it was interesting. Plus, uh, uh, with the relevant marking, you also come to know about uh, the lot of different tree species. Now, this one particular section talks about, uh, or rather, showcases the different uh, woods that are being used, uh, and uh, for the different purposes, right? So you have the fishing nets, you've got the tanoa bowls, you've got uh, the handmade rope which is called as dali and uh, then you've got the bili bili which is the raft which uh, they used to use on uh, uh, river water. Then the dua which is the dance spear. So you pretty much get to see a lot of cultural aspects uh, uh, which uh, are traditional traditionally associated with the, the indigenous Fijian culture. So guys, after this elevated section, we came down to another uh, set of enclosures which housed the local Fijian iguanas. Now, other than the Fijian iguanas, we also have uh, the invasive iguanas from uh, US, which uh, Fijian government and, pe and, and, and people are trying to get rid of. So just opposite this enclosure is a specifically designed area, which is called as the pond. I'm sure I've not been able to capture the actual beauty of it, but if you look at it, in real life you just be mesmerized by this beauty and it's just out of one of the, of the movies so it looks like a movie set the next enclosure that was there was housing peacocks and uh, some other birds so other than this um, Kula Park also offers a choice of two restaurants I think with a for us, it was just the coffee shop that was open uh, that day and um, just opposite the coffee shop is the children's water park uh, where uh, all two slides were present and you had this big drum that would fall with a lot of water. So after resting in this area and having coffee, we came back to uh, the interaction area and there you can see the boa constrictor followed by the Fijian iguana. So after this we finished our tour of uh, the Kolaiko Park and then we were hungry so we headed to this place called as Sindabad Pizza. I've been to this place before and uh, I think this is one of uh, the best pizza houses in Fiji. So the location of this particular pizza house is Casablanca Hotel. You can check it on Google and you will find that. And it's just behind Outrigger on the back road of Outrigger basically. So the pizza comes in a variety of toppings. We went in with the, the chicken toppings. And an interesting fact is that they supply chili sauce with the pizza. So this brings us to the end of this particular vlog. I hope you did enjoy this vlog. If you did, do like, share and subscribe. Till we meet again, take care and stay safe.